Hello, everybody. Welcome to Josh Delaria's Musical Escapades. I'm Josh Delaria, your host, and honestly, it was really an awesome treat at the end of last year to find this band that I'm about to show you guys. This band is called Janines. Uh, they're a rock band um, out of New York City, and I have no idea where they got their name from since neither one of the members is named Janine, but, you know, sometimes musicians will do that kind of stuff. At some point last year, they released a self-titled album, which I believe was their debut, and the funny thing about the album is that most of the songs were very, very short. Um, now, this may actually surprise you guys, but the fact that just about all those songs were so short actually really impresses me, because I actually think short songs are a lot more difficult to make. They're actually really challenging to make sound good, because you have to cram all the development that you would normally have in a three to five minute song uh, down into something shorter. See, most songs that are really short are te they tend to be like interludes, just like kind of like little background music to kind of set the stage for the next song on the album or whatever. Um, but in order to make a song that is like the same length of time, if, if you're gonna make it stand alone, you really have to do a great job of drilling down on your lyrics and making sure you get everything transmitted that you need to get transmitted in that short period of time. And that's the challenge of making a song like that. Janine's did a great job of this throughout the entire album, so it's no surprise that this song that I'm going to feature for you guys called No Home ended up getting nominated for the top 20, and it did fall short, but, you know, um, honorable mention is obviously still something worthwhile for any band to attain. So I'm going to go ahead and feature the song, again, it's called No Home, and you'll find out that this song is actually only a minute and two seconds long. So just to give you guys context, the average song probably runs about three to five minutes or so. So for a musician to be able to get that kind of material into a minute and two seconds is really, really impressive. So I'll go ahead and play it here for you guys and please enjoy and I'll catch you on the other side. So obviously because the song is so short, there's not a lot for me to go through with you guys, so I imagine this is probably going to be pretty quick. Um, but there are a couple of things that I do want to make sure I highlight. Uh, first of them is that they establish this chord progression right away in the first four measures or so, and so that way you have a good foundation, but there are at least some variations in this chord progression to make it sound interesting. So it's that that will help the song really carry from there and then also be able to fit into a minute. Another thing that the band does very well is that they make short, succinct verses. So I like this a lot because what it's doing is really probably getting to the point very quickly, very concisely. And me personally, I don't know about other people, but like I just don't like a lot of fluff in songs, um, a lot, especially just a lot of things that would make the song artificially longer. Um, to me, it, it just doesn't sit well because it's just adding things that you really don't need and don't really add anything to the song. Um, so I think you know being able to practice doing something like this, uh, where you're trying to write as concisely as you possibly can. Uh, would be really helpful so that when you do have some longer music, you won't have to worry about fluff getting in there because you're already in the habit of writing about what's most important in the song. There is also a weakness that I found in this song, and that to me is that the words seem a little bit difficult to hear. Yeah, 
Yeah, and because of that, you know, it does make the message a little bit more obscured. So it, it's hard for me to kind of get a sense of what they're actually talking about when I can't really hear what they're saying. I'm not really sure why the voices sound murky, but um, to be honest, I don't know if it's an issue with the production or if the lead singer and the, the singers and the band just don't have very good clarity. Uh, I, I'm just not sure, but one way or another, I would definitely say that it, whether it was done on purpose or if it's just something that they know they need to work on, like I, I think that it just doesn't sound very good and doesn't really help the song at all. And that's all I have on this one. Obviously, like I said, it's short. It's a short song, so it's going to be a short review. But uh, in any case, if you guys like Janine's, you can go ahead and check them out on their Bandcamp, uh, janine's.bandcamp.com. And as always, I'll go ahead and put their social media links down in the description below. And as always, if there's any music that you love, or if you've made music yourself and you want it to be featured here on the show, please let me know. I would love to give it a listen. Um, you can email me here at joshdelariusmusicalescapades at gmail.com, or you can send it to me on Facebook, which my Facebook page here is facebook.com slash joshdelariusmusicalescapades, or you can leave a link in the comments below. And again, no matter what, I'm going to go ahead and listen to it, and I'll decide from there whether or not I'm going to feature it here on the show. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, go make great music, everybody.